Hello viewers, I'm going to try how to convert this well, newish TV it's an Orion into a convert this to what I look at this little power transformer here I want a blue um, tape in the, around the windings and the yellow strip around the outside inside there's a loose winding and it rattles and makes a little squeaky noise and it affects a picture and I cannot stop it you can warp the board from one of the corners and it warping it puts stress in the transformer and holds the winding tight the squeaking stops but the picture still plays up as a result of that transformer so I cannot seem to figure a way to fix that transformer so now the Rage TV is not really worth fixing anyway because no one wants CRTs anymore so I'm going to show you using this to convert this to an oscilloscope so to unplug this these two um, horizontal um, deflection coil wires are going to the uh, horizontal coil are actually um, part of the circuit that runs a flyback transformer so if this stuff's up or in here the horizontal coil blows open circuit this will shut off to stop a phosphor burning in the middle of the screen from the gun shooting just straight at the screen which would yeah you see like as it shoots here it will burn a hole in the phosphorus so that's why that, that, that's that, that's why that um, is there the feature the shut off goes bad but if the vertical goes that's as I was like if the vertical goes bad as well if not, the, um, there'll just be holes on the line on the screen. But this one here doesn't do that. It shuts off altogether. It's a safety feature. So I'll start off by using these, just a vertical, just a scanning call. The, um, we'll just use that as a first example. We'll show you what the bass will do. And to the beat to the music, the screen will scan to the beat to the music. And with the horizontal, you plug these into the horizontal, the vertical coils into the horizontal supply. So it's that way. And you scan the, um, so the horizontal ends up being scanned vertically, so the picture's sideways. And you use these um, as your inputs for your signal. So you have the oscilloscope wave. It only takes up from here to here, half the screen there. So we'll first of all plug this to the vertical alone first, and I'll show you what the picture looks like. We're plugging the set-top box into it too for colour effects. So yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, viewers, you can hear that transformer in there squealing away. That's an effect of the transformer doing that, that affects a picture, so I can't really fix that transformer up, not really without fixing anyway, so I'm doing this with it. That's what it looks like with the base going through your um, scanning coil. Pretty cool. I'll go on loud. There you go. That looks pretty cool. Shift, turn the base up a bit. Yeah, too much bass. Turn the bass down to one. And go select treble. Treble on one. Turn the volume down. Now turn the bass back up. Yeah, you go, too much bass. Now, next track. Here we go. Volume down, I've got on screen that's like bouncing around the screen. It's got channel 10, it's got ready steady cook on. Okay, next track. I'm gonna try a different CD now. We've got a bass test CD. Here we go, frequency test time, this will do. Yeah, that chance almost pretty bad. Oh well, I'm nearly running out of memory so I've got to stop the camera. Okay, let's pick up where I left off. I've changed the card, a bigger card now if I turn the frequency up. This is a 1 hertz sine, uh, sine wave I think. Yeah. 1 hertz makes the line scan very slowly. And you can see the picture being created. It's pretty cool. Gives you a fair idea of how the vertical system of your TV works. Okay, next one is... There we go, too much. I turn it down. The picture's being scanned. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that transformer's not powering the TV properly, so it keeps resetting. That's why AVT won't um, disappear. Yeah, 
it's only going to get sent for recycling anyway, so you might as well just have a bit of fun with it. But you do get to know what you're doing when you're working with TVs. If you don't know what you're doing, you can kill yourself. You can have a be experienced when you're playing with stuff like this. Next frequency. Sounds cool on the speaker. 15 watt FIO speaker. Next track. I forget what frequency that is, but it looks cool on the screen. Turn the volume up, turn the volume down. Yeah, turning your volume up or down just makes the screen open up more. Next track. Yeah. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Whatever frequency that is, I turn it up or down. The picture just waves and rolls. I don't remember what frequency that is, but yeah, looks cool. Yeah, as a picture changes, a transformer the note changes. There we go, next one. There's just some commercials playing. Next track. Next again. It gets very loud so you can see the frequency. Yeah, but it looks like when I turn it up, it's only, yeah. It gets insanely loud, that one. If I disconnect the speaker, it'll turn it up nearly full board and see what that frequency sounds like on here. Yeah, it's too loud for the speaker, but you can see what that frequency is like. It hasn't got enough um, to. Enough frequency to register on a vertical coil, but it's only designed to operate at 60 Hz to scan the screen. So that's why you don't see much of a difference. Yeah, that's how loud it can get. Next track. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, this track takes a while to load for some reason. Now it's shut off, turn the radio off, turn the TV off, and then I'm going to try plugging the horizontal into the vertical supply and using the, um, this to override that so the TV stays on. So that has to be an inductive load for the horizontal to keep the TV running. So I'll do that and I'll show you what the picture looks like then. Again, you've got to be very careful, you don't kill yourself. If need be, discharge a tube. Okay, viewers, where I've got the horizontal, that red and blue wire, plugged into the vertical supply, so it will scan the screen this way. And I've used that existing connector. I've actually pushed those little clips in here, I've pushed them in, so they can slide in and out. So I can easily move them around and maneuver them, and just keep that original um, clip to retain them in place. And here, this is a near horizontal deflection coil, to override the um, safety thing in the TV. As I said earlier, if you need to beat this, charge the tube and unplug safety first when working with these. Before I do that, be very careful pushing in on a plastic where it's insulated. Make sure it's in. And I'll reconnect the set top box and we'll see the picture looks like after that. Yeah, I haven't got that aligned. Hang on, let's turn the camera off. Okay, if it's successful, it should turn on. Alright, on oh, there. I did something wrong. Okay. Yeah, as you just saw, I nearly blew the TV, um, the horizontal transistor up. Once it happens, she's fucked, but yeah, I don't really care anyway. It's only going to get sent for recycling, so it's not worth fixing, as I said earlier. So we're going to try to do that coil, um, as I said earlier. She doesn't get bang again, but anyway. Yeah, we'll play. Yeah, see? Phosphor burning. Mm. 
here. Cool. And then if I plug, shut the thing off, take the TV off before I burn the phosphorus, I'm going to plug the vertical into the right channel where the speaker's plugged into. And that line will be going that way and that way, so we have a cool effect on the screen. So unplug. Lucky that pop was just the wire shorting out on that resistor. There's a resistor next to it, and that wire was shorting out, and the wire popped. I thought it was that transistor. So thank God that didn't blow. So yeah. Okay, to show you, you've got to be very careful, because that's what can happen if, don't, if you do it wrong. You've got to kill the TV or yourself. So you've got to know exactly what you're doing. So that's off, I'm unplugged. Now these, these will be plugged into where the speaker's plugged into. So yeah, that will stay as it is. So I'll do that. <laughs> 